Hello and welcome to Thailand. Today I am finally in Bangkok and reunited with my exchange sister Pufa after five years apart. We spent a whole year living together as exchange students in Michigan, the United States, during our high school year abroad. So, how is everything going? Not too bad. Good. Our first mission on the agenda was, of course, calling our host parents, who had no idea I had finally made it to Bangkok to visit her. Oh, wow. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, you know, hanging out, traveling around. It's very exciting. So now, yesterday, I just got to my thirty, no, forty-third country, which is wild. Yeah. So I'm actually in Thailand. Hello. <laughs> After that fun little phone call, we got in the car and drove about two hours south to Pattaya. And Pattaya is a very touristy city, but we got in a boat and headed out to one of the islands. It is called Ku Larn, and it's a resort island where you get driven around in golf carts, which was very. Fun for me as a low-budget traveler. Here we have finally made it to our hotel. This hotel, as you can see, it's super fresh and modern and fancy, and it was really, really nice. Heading across the street and down to the beach for our dinner. This restaurant. Slash hotel, just like all the other companies on the street had hotel on one side of the road and then a restaurant at the beach on the other side, and it was so fancy. You would just sit there in the sand and eat your dinner and look at the ocean. The next day, we started off with breakfast at the beach. Before we continued with a little golf cart ride around the island, because there was something wrong with our room, so we had to move hotels and get a new room. So I moved to this other hotel. It was right by, but they still drove us in a golf cart, which was a very nice experience. And then in the evening, after we had dinner, we went to watch this fire show. It was right at the beach by our hotel, and I think it's a pretty common thing in these areas. But I think it was pretty cool still. We then got back on the boat and headed over to the mainland, and then we got in her car and drove back to Bangkok. And once we got back to the city, we headed to a night market called the Jod Fairs, which is a very big and cool street food market. They have a lot of really good dishes, and as any other market, you can just walk around and buy these small dishes of a bunch of different foods, so you can try. A lot of things, and I really, really enjoy going to these night markets because it's a very cool atmosphere, and you get to interact with locals and try a lot of local food. So I definitely going to the night market is one of my favorite things. The next day, we got on a boat to go down and across the river, and over to the Wat Arun Temple. This temple is huge, and it is super famous both for locals and for international travelers. It is a Buddhist temple, one of the biggest and most stunning in Bangkok. The Wat Arun Temple, also known as the Temple of Dawn, is situated on the Chao Phraya River, and has its name from the Hindu god Aruna, who is often. Personified as the radiations of the rising sun. We then took the boat to the other side of the river and headed to the Vat Phu or the Vat p 
Fu, which is another Buddhist temple. It's a temple complex, one of the biggest in Bangkok. And it is also known as the Temple of the Reclining Buddha. So there is this huge Buddha and it is reclining. And a lot of people come to see and to pray to this Buddha statue. Also keep in mind that about 93% of the Thai population are Buddhists. So the country has a ton of temples all over the country. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but they are all stunning. It was then, of course, time for some more food. So we headed to a mall that has this huge food market in the basement. And we got ourselves some ice cream. And then we also moved over to this stand where they make huge mochis. So they roll out the dough and then they add a scoop of ice cream to it. It was then also time for a taste test of some other mochis. So we got four different flavors. We got one with chocolate, we got one with salt caramel, we got one with some candy things, and then we also got a different chocolate one. And for me, of course, it was a little bit cold, but it was delicious. We made our way back to the streets, this time the streets of Chinatown, and there is a Chinatown in every big city across the planet. I'm pretty sure at least every big city that I've been to. So we headed to the Chinatown of Bangkok to find a very special restaurant where it is a Chinese restaurant, but when you walk inside, you walk up the stairs and then you find a hidden gem. So this is the hidden gem and it's located behind some bookshelves. We then headed over to this really, really cool bar. I think it's pronounced Tichuka, but I might be totally mistaken. Anyways, this is a very cool rooftop bar where you have the views of the whole entire city of Bangkok. They have delicious drinks and obviously this whole tree thing that they got going on is very cool. So to end the day and to end my stay in Bangkok and in Thailand, we headed to this hot pot restaurant where the food is delivered on a conveyor belt. So what you do is that you order two kinds of soups and then you just pick whatever meats and vegetables and noodles that you want from the conveyor belt and add it to your soup. I think this is a very fun way of being able to try both different soups and also different foods that you add to your soup of choice and making it your individual experience and it also makes it so that you can add a bunch of different types of food because the portions are pretty small. That's it from Bangkok and from Thailand. Thank you for watching.